Hey guys, it's Monday. It's actually like almost lunch time. I just had been working all morning. This weekend I didn't really vlog that much. I just wasn't feeling 100%. It was like my teeth got a little bit worse again. Maybe like I ate something and the smelling went, I don't know what happened, but it just wasn't ideal. Like I wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't ideal. I didn't end up going to Sally's, which was a total bummer just because I did not want to drive three hours while I feel like this. Like I still don't feel 100% so I just had to give it a miss this time so I'm gonna have to go over and visit um, Chloe and Sydney at some stage like I said to Sally I was like we have to go do a trip overseas she's like yeah totally so hopefully we can make that work sometime but yeah pretty bummed but also I didn't want to like mess myself up and like the swelling was still a little bit sore and <sighs> anyways today I have just been editing this morning now I'm going to film a little like a special occasion fake tan routine so I'm gonna get in the shower and film myself which is awkward just step by step what I do when I prepare and fake tan for a special event or like whenever I want my tan to look super flawless I'm going to do lots of like tips and tricks and all that kind of thing so hopefully it'll be helpful for people because my last fake tan was just like a normal fake tan routine like whereas this one's going to be extra steps to make your tan really stand out and look phenomenal you know what I mean so hopefully it works out well I'm going to film some of that now now I might do some tidying later I need to plan a photo shoot for Exo Beauty that's going to be the plan for today this pimple popped up but I'm shrinking it I put like a pimple killer on it so hopefully it's gone by tomorrow because I feel like filming tomorrow as well I think well I mean I don't know what I feel like doing tomorrow but I'm planning on filming tomorrow um I felt like filming today but I've just got some other stuff I want to get done today instead so yeah that's the plan Hamish made me a smoothie and it tastes so good I haven't eaten today so I just said that I just finished filming my um first part of my tan video where I shaved and prepared and gave some tips and tricks and stuff um, like prepping tips and tricks and I think I added a couple that not many other people talk about well I've never actually seen anyone else talk about them so hopefully you guys find it helpful look how pretty I'm just trying to find some new um, designs for like new brushes and stuff it's all sneaky this is not finished at all and I'm gonna change it but a little sneak peek of behind the scenes what time is it do you wanna go for a walk Take that as a yes. You excited now? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky. Come on. This way. Hey, come on this way. Puppies are happy. What are you doing? <laughs> Cooking grass around. brushes this one's not trimmed properly these are just samples they're not like final ones or anything they're just mock-ups and then I'm gonna fine-tune them a little bit more I forgot to take my phone with me on my walk I was gonna catch some Pokemon FML living the dream eggs kale uh, tomato and avocado chili on toast for dinner because we have no groceries <laughs> we're gonna go get groceries after this Lily this is for you up down down this is so satisfying. What's Wait. this, Lily? Here's your beads. We don't have ears. What's that? <laughs> I was just walking around. I was like, something's wrong. And then I realized I forgot to start my vlog today. <laughs> I've just been so busy. So this morning I got up real early. My dentist point was at like 8.30 a.m. So they took out the stitches. He said the swelling's gone down mostly. There's still a little bit, which I already knew that. Um, he said they're healing really well. So I have to go back in 10 more days just for the final checkup to make sure there's nothing wrong. Um, he said that 
bone replacers where your um, wisdom teeth came out, like how gross is that? So yeah, the stitches came out, these two were fine when they came out, the top and the bottom, but this side hurts so much, I was like, oh my god, he's like, yeah, this one's a little bit tricky. So I'm just happy that they're out, I'm happy. So I just gotta keep up the salt water washes at night time, just to make sure no food gets lodged in there while it's trying to heal. And then this morning I finished doing my fake tan, so I'm all fake tanned. I've got one more day um, to do some more tips because I'm doing a special occasion fake tanning video. So yeah, tomorrow is like gonna be like the day of your special event. Today is like the bef day before your special event. So tomorrow I've got more tips. Um, to show you guys how to really make your tan pop and stand out um, with your outfit and everything. So, yeah. And then that video will be finished. I'm going to edit that up. I'm really excited. I think it's going to come together really well. I've got quite a lot of tips in there. And then I'm going to film some more videos tomorrow. But today, I just finished editing a vlog. What else have I done? I don't remember if I showed you last night. I planned out all of my um, photo shoot stuff. We'll show you a quick sneak peek. It's just like some inspiration for like backgrounds. I love it. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um like style of photography i want to do like different makeup looks and stuff but i love like the simple backgrounds hey babe <laughs> nikki like i love her backdrops and everything so there's some like inspiration and then some like makeup and posing inspiration and everything very exciting so i'll vlog the photo shoot too but yeah um now i'm gonna go over to exo beauty and i'm going to do some work over there i've got to drop off some brush samples for those limited edition ones look how cool this is too this here is italian glass tortoise shell like how cool is that i think i want like a slightly different kind of tortoise shell like a little bit more delicate like you know sunglasses and stuff like i think that would be such a beautiful range this top ignore that that's just um stock standard that's nothing like not my brushes or anything it's just to kind of show how it would look um again it's not final i also love the navy color there's more glass we can do italian glass and like a marble effect but i'm thinking of getting it done with like you know typical marble colors so your gray black and white kind of tones i feel like that would look so beautiful so i just got home finalized some like concepts basically of limited edition brushes i've narrowed it down to four different ideas um and now i'm going to get some like refined versions of like the hairs i want and like the colors barrel colors like different brush styles like all of that kind of stuff also finalized um and am refining a few more samples of new brushes to come in a few months time and some other stuff as well yay lily's marching around with his sheep in his mouth look <laughs> What's that? He loves that. It's so funny. Mmm, in the sun. Lucky boy. Hi Zeus, you're so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Who got a bath today? Was it you? Yeah. I want to go for a walk. I might go for a walk soon. Hi. He loves my nails. Hey. my favorite pan because it's mini. <laughs> so small. Zara? Yeah. Thank you. Mail time, mail time, mail time. I got some sunglasses and stuff from pegmarie.com. A couple of these are in the Gemini. I think a couple of them are the Desi collection and then this one's Desi. And there's a crispy one too. Maybe these ones? I don't know. But anyways. And the um, TYSM Black Mint. Hold on, I'll show you them. These are going to look shit because I've got no makeup on. But those are the TYSM. It's so cool. I reckon they'll look so cool with a bold lip or something. Gemini. These ones are crispy. They're probably a little bit more wearable. And then these are Jet Lag, I think, by Crispy. They are so cool. Again, probably better with a bit of makeup on, to be honest. I feel like some sunnies look so good with no makeup. And then these ones that are like really intense and reflective, I feel like look better once I've got like a more even skin tone, but I love them. And then I got a tie around necklace, like the black one I have. Um, this one's like a tan. And then <gasps> this jacket is so cool. I'll show you it on. I feel like I should be on an episode of Friends. I got it too big so that it's quite like relaxed ignore like the outfit underneath because i would never pair it up with this i'm wearing these like high high waist pants it's because i fake tan today so loose clothing is the go yeah i'm obsessed like how cute would this be with like high-waisted like black 
jeans and like a cute t-shirt or something. And then I got some stuff from It Cosmetics. Ooh, look how cool that is. So unique. What does it say? French boutique blush. Bl bl blush? Blush? Blush. Cannot talk. Also got the CC Eye Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream SPF 50. Awesome. I also got the Airbrush Perfecting Powder SPF 50. That sounds awesome too. I love this packaging. The Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Mascara with Lash Ball T Detailer. I like um, their tight line mascara, so hopefully I'll like that one. Brow Powder Super Skinny. Live Laugh Love Vitality Face Disc. Oh my god, I used to have this. Well, I still do have it somewhere. This is really good. The colors are so beautiful. It's just like quite big, so a pain to kind of store, you know, but it's actually incredible. I think I mentioned it in a favorites video a while back. Naturally Pretty Essentials Matte Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. I have one of their bigger eyeshadow palettes, like double this length, and I used to really, really love it. I still have it. I just haven't reached it for it for ages because you know how it is. You always kind of been trying out new stuff all the time, so you kind of forget about things, but they are really good quality, so I'm looking forward to trying that one. And then, yes, they gave me another tight line mascara. So nice, thank you. And then I got a gift from Zazia, sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're getting better at pronouncing. <laughs> I'm so bad, I always pronounce it wrong. Matte lipsticks. Ooh, these look quite opaque. Exciting. I'll open them up quickly. Look how rich and pigmented that is. So creamy. This one here is in the shade RS405. Oh my gosh, let me do one more. Look at that. The one on the left is this one here. So pigmented. And then the final thing is from Elizabeth Arden, and I don't know how to open this. Privage City Smart. What do I do? Oh, I think it's a lid. It is. <laughs> Ignore me. This is an SPF 50 Hydrating Shield. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need. I was just looking at a new um, sunscreen. I'm actually using one at the moment by ZA, so... I'll use this once I've finished the ZA one. Screens out skin dulling pollutants and 98% of UVB rays. So is it just a sunscreen or is it tinted? I can't tell. And then also this is a mirror. Yes. Oh, is this a charger? Like a phone charger as well? Is it or is this what you have to charge with your phone? I'm so confused. Here we go, here's the info. Thank you, Elizabeth Arden. It kind of just blends into your skin like the tint isn't too noticeable. I think I actually like it. It's just like a really light tint. And obviously it's still soaking into my skin. I'm sure it won't look that shiny once it's on. I'll definitely try that out after I finish my current one. Hey, Mish Cook tonight. We're having um, like burrito things with some tomatoes and beans. I haven't thrown out the rubbish from Louis' bed yet. I just noticed they had a picture. Oh, they're so nice. They must have clicked on my links or my emails or something. So cute. Look. My little snuggle bug. This is where the bed was from, by the way. This link just here. It wasn't super cheap, but I like to support, like, you know, people that make their own stuff and, like, have their own businesses and small businesses and things. We've just started Skins on Netflix. I hope it's good. I remember this was so popular, like, 10 years ago, but I never watched it. <laughs>